this is an announcement, or today's announcements are near and dear to my heart. I've you know, really enjoyed the privilege of being Minister of Education over the last three years. I think we've made a lot of progress uh, in education. We inherited a sector that was somewhat dispirited um, and in desperate need of some additional investment, um, and we've made a lot of progress uh, in a lot of key areas. So if you look across uh, school property, for example, nearly $3.5 billion of investment in school property. Uh, if you look in the areas of like learning support, almost a billion just shy of a billion dollars, about $930 million uh, spent on learning support for our most vulnerable kids. Uh, and early childhood education, some really big and significant increases of investment in early childhood education, including reinstating the 100% qualified teacher funding rate, which means that those services that employ fully qualified and registered teachers get funded for that, so they get paid an additional rate, a higher rate, so that they can support that, uh, that quality workforce. So we're here today at a community-based early childhood education service because we've got one big piece of unfinished business uh, when it comes to early childhood education teacher pay, uh, and that's the issue of pay parity. So as a government, we've been committed to pay parity for everybody working uh, in the state-employed sector, so kindergartens, primary schools and secondary schools, and the big collective agreement settlement that we reached uh, extended to all of those workforces. But we know in early childhood education... Uh, that we pay parity is still some unfinished business that we have to attend to. So teachers who are working in community-based services like this one, uh, private early childhood education services as well, they're not currently paid as well as the teachers working in kindergartens, and that's because the government subsidies don't allow for that. So one of the core commitments that the Labour Party is making in our next term of government is extending pay parity to all teachers working in early childhood education. Education, making sure that they are all paid uh, what they are worth, uh, and at the moment they're not, and that's got to be fixed. So we've seen significant increases in funding for ECE, for quality ECE. We're now going to continue that investment and make sure all of those teachers are well paid and supported in their roles. We're also going to be continuing to invest in schooling, um, and the policy sets out particularly a focus on equity and uh, making sure that our, a new equity funding system is implemented across the school system. And of course in tertiary education, a really big focus for us will be making sure that we implement our vocational education reforms, that we're putting trades and vocational training back on the map, uh, and that includes free apprenticeships and free vocational training in those areas where New Zealand has skill shortage, um, so we'll be continuing to implement that policy and subsidies for employers who are taking on apprentices uh, because we know that in the current economic climate uh, without that additional support a lot of our apprentices could find that they were out of their work and unable to continue their training so we're putting extra funding in uh, to make sure that happens as well. So we made a lot of progress over three years, there's still an awful lot of work to be done um, and to the manifesto that we're launching today really continues on uh, the path that we've been on for the last three years.